So our junior sedan set to go here for their opening heat race of the weekend. Braden Story, your pole sitter. And Riley Story alongside him and they're underway. Our junior sedans. Heat number one out on the racetrack right now and they're rolling through turns one and two the first time. McDonald down the back straight away. That's AJ McDonald, the number 17. He goes through to position number two. Back to Eli Allen, who runs the top side and shuffles wide a little bit. That allows Baxter Adard to go through. We've got a car upside down. Stora up and over in turns one and two. And Crash Crew quickly on the scene. So, Braden Stora upside down in turns one and two. And hard luck for the Stora family. They had a monster rollover in practice at the National Junior Sedan title last season at Alexandra Speedway. And that was a big, big rollover for the pilot of the Rockhampton number four. So... Braden's still in the car and he's obviously been checked by officials and he's okay to pop the car back on four wheels. They're going to gently lower the Rockhampton number four machine back to all four wheels. So crash crew on scene with Braden there now and lower him gently back to terra firma. A lot of damage in the right front corner, the Rockhampton number four. And wonderful to hear some applause. Window net coming down. He's going to climb from the car. When he climbs out, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you make plenty of noise for Braden. A big, big rollover for the pilot of the Rockhampton number four. And he's out with the crash crew and medical staff. A frightening incident. On lap number two of our first junior sedan race of the night, of course, we had a big rollover. On opening night, young Mitch Wogan went over in a big, big way on the back straightaway. And great to see Braden out of the car and A-OK -okay with ambulance officials right now. And he'll climb in and get the full check over and treatment. But I think it's safe to say we won't see the Rockhampton number four again tonight. So, a bit of a replay for those tuned in at home on the Clay Per View live stream. Monster moment for Braden there. I'm great, glad to see he's out of the car and A OK at Rockhampton number four. Just missed the entry to turns one and two and the car went straight ahead so something's clearly failed in the right front corner of the number four machine and great work by Eli Allen and the number 55 to jump on the brakes and avoid making contact you just see the car go straight ahead on the replay so that was frightening would have been a big scary moment for young Braden, as we pick up a shot for everyone tuned at home and you see him on the hook of the McCosker tow vehicle making his way off the racetrack right now he's in the ambulance just getting checked over by staff and he'll go back to mum dad grandma grandpa back in the pit area and they'll make sure he's a-okay but hard luck to Braden Stora to end his night early we're only a lap in